Hey guys, um, I want to do something a little different um, and address a question, a message that I get on a daily basis multiple times. I get just message after message after message of people saying, hey, can you take a look at my uh, Let's Play? Can you take a look at my first couple videos or uh, one thing or another? And they they want me to take a look at their stuff and tell them, hey, do you think I have a chance? What can I do? Can I improve something here and there? Um, and, of course, as you know, with two or three of those a day, if I went through and provided advice for everybody, I um, wouldn't get anything done. Take up the whole day. So uh wanted to kind of go through and uh, go through my very first episode uh, that I ever recorded and put on YouTube and kind of do a walk through uh, let you know some good and bad things that I've done and kind of give you some advice along the way um, so this is for those of you that are doing a series right now or are thinking about doing a series um, so if you're not interested in that you could probably click off now might not interest you um, but number one and I'm going to be addressing mainly PC guys because I don't have a Mac. Uh, my brother does, and I know Schism and uh, Campbell both have, or all three of those guys are running on Macs, and they record some pretty high-quality stuff. So if you're wondering about stuff for Macs, maybe I'll direct you to them. You can flood their, their uh, box. <laughs> um, but as far as PC goes, uh, I use Sony Vegas. Uh, that's the program that I edit with. Um, and it's okay, you know, it's not the, the end all of editing programs, but it definitely gets the job done, um, as far as re how to record my game, I record with Fraps, uh, some people prefer other programs, Fraps has worked out pretty well for me, the one problem, Fraps and Sony Vegas have a little bit of a codec conflict I think to where you've seen probably in one of my latest episodes the black screen every once in a while uh, you edit it out you go through it, everything looks perfect and then when you render you get black screens um, that's something that's kind of tough to avoid um, there are suggestions that I've tried and so if you do use that combo you prepare for the black screens because you get them every once in a while but more than anything, I just suggest that you do your research. Research is very, very important before you start a Let's Play. Um, another thing, as far as I'm concerned, I'm really big on audio and video quality. Um, audio is very big for me. If I'm uh, watching a Let's Play and I can't hear what the person is saying, or if it sounds like they're in their kitchen, or you hear a bunch of noise in the background, uh, it's a little frustrating and, and hard to get sucked into the show. So I suggest you make sure your audio quality is really good. For me, I'm only running on like a little $7 lab tech computer mic. Uh, it's a piece of garbage, but it works really well because I've downloaded some uh, different audio drivers. And, and I can't tell you exactly what to do, but I just did a lot of research um, on getting good audio drivers. Sometimes if you get a really good mic, you're going to pick up too much background noise. Um, so do your research. See if you can get a good audio quality going. That's very important. Video quality, as you'll see in my first episodes, it was the best I could get. Uh, my computer was pretty garbage um, at the time. But... Uh, wasn't extremely laggy. Right now, I think if people are watching Minecraft, it's bare minimum to be able to run on far render distance and fancy graphics. If you aren't, I think you're going to lose your audience real quick. Um, that was high priority for me. When I got started, I started saving immediately for a new computer. And as you know, uh, I built that myself. Um, to try to save some money there and it's worked out great since so um, those are just some little things to kind of help you get started some things that are really important um, but what we'll do now is we'll jump into the video and uh, 
we'll kind of go through and pick it apart and see, um, you know, if I can get you some more suggestions or uh, give you some advice from there. So we'll start it up now. And as you can see, this isn't the song that I ended up sticking with for my... Um, hey guys, my John last here. play. I ended up changing it. But. And we are going to start a series. We're going to do a little Minecraft. I can't even type. I'm trying to think of what to type here. Type and talk at the same time. We're going to do a little Minecraft Let's Play. <clears throat> what are we doing here? B double. Oh. Only a certain number of people are going to know what that means. And here we go. This is version 1.4 that we're in. And I think probably right before 1.5 is coming out. Maybe the day before 1.5 is coming out. My dog is scratching my leg. Yeah, he's probably got to go to the bathroom. He can pee in the house because I got business to attend to. Okay. Now, let's check this out before we do anything. Sound. Let's see how that sounds. <clears throat> Video settings. Let's see how long it takes to crash. All right. So... Always buy water. Is that like a rule for Minecraft? Cactus right off the bat over there. Get wood immediately. Okay, so for this fi first bit here, um, you know, okay, we started out, it was all right, you know, talking about the dog saying he can pee in the house. That's kind of funny. Um, but right now, I think so many people have already seen this. They've seen you start the world up. They've seen you knock down trees. Um, in all honesty, in all honesty, and don't burp in your recordings. <laughs> in all honesty, I don't think people are really going for this anymore. Um, you've got probably 30 seconds to a minute to catch their attention. Um... I think it's really, if you're going to direct somebody to your first episode or you're hoping people see your first episode, you got to grab them quick. My suggestion nowadays, with the game being so old and so many Let's Plays being out there, is to get something in your world built. Get something impressive. If you're a builder, build something impressive that are, that's going to keep people along. If you're a redstone guy, do something cool with redstone. Whatever your target audience is going to be, try to do that and get that going first. Um, you know, in marketing, they tell you to kind of figure out before you start marketing what your target audience is going to be. Uh, and I think there's several types. Um, let's You take Etho, for example. He's kind of the guy that you see uh, being really creative with inventions and redstone and making the game work around his schedule um, I think that's one type of uh, let's play out there and uh, you know obviously uh, he draws quite an audience uh, but if you're gonna go that route you better make sure that you are really really good at what you're doing because he's you know you're going up against stiff competition already as far as building goes uh, Doc M is you know big time badge is a big builder vintage beef all those guys um really target the building audience i think uh and then there's guys like good and i who are kind of like the bulls that just go head down and, and uh some may say we suck at the game but we're more comedy than anything um those are just three possible genres that you may want to you know right off the bat say what do i want to be and try to stick as close to that as you can. I think if you do that, it will save your audience a lot of confusion, and they'll 
they'll kind of say, okay, yeah, this is something I want, or no, this is something I don't want. Um, but like I said, pick which direction you'd like to go, and maybe start out, I mean, right off the bat with um, getting somebody interested in what you're doing. So we'll let the video run a little bit more here. That's a, that's what she said, right? Okay, we'll clear it all out. Come here. And of course, as everyone knows, we gotta get coal right off the bat so we can make torches. Uh, so we can be safe for the night. So let's see what's. Ooh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! I didn't see that hole. That's what she said. No, that's not a, what. That's what she said. Never mind. Okay, coal is not gonna be. Yeah, coal I guess can be everywhere, right? I want it to be exposed. Wish we could do a sand house right off the bat, but it would collapse. Okay, get up there. Pigs, I will kill you later. Wait, what are we on? Are we on peaceful? Normal. Yeah, I think I've heard that that's the hardest. Even harder than hard. That's what she said. Okay, so lots of that's what she said jokes. Um, that's okay, I guess. The thing is, your first recording... You're not going to be comfortable. You're going to be a little nervous. Uh, that's kind of what I was here. You see me falling in holes. Uh, something I want to mention, though. You see me checking my sound and my uh, difficulty and all that stuff. Make sure you got that all set up first. You don't want people sitting there looking at that. It looks kind of unprofessional. So, um, Anyway, yeah. Don't be going into your escape menu all the time. Uh, try to have it set up as soon as possible. It's a mistake I still make to this day, but just a suggestion. <laughs> okay. Um, forest over here. Okay, now I'm just going to look for an area where I can uh, dig in to the ground. Why is nothing rendering over there? Hurry up. I want to see mountains. Show me mountains. Nothing. Okay. So, this is probably not very smart. Because, uh, actually, we're going to do chest right off the bat. We'll just do that one. Nope, should have done them all. Not a chest, workbench. Now, guys, this is Let's do them all. Where the name Slow Fingers comes uh, from. We'll do a couple sticks. <laughs> that's good. I'm actually. And then this is not slow motion. That's good. That's how okay. my fingers are actually Shovel. moving. And. Um, wood pick. Mm hmm. Wood shovel. And do we want a sword? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll do a wood sword. It's useless. Give me that. All right. Okay, so right here we've had about, I don't know, a few seconds of just silence. Um, silence is not good in your videos. This is a personal preference of mine. I don't like when people are just quiet, just silent. Um, I'm, you watch these videos for the person uh, a lot of times because you could play the game. 
Um, so kind of plan ahead before you record. Try to think of some stuff you can talk about. Um, you know, people are interested. They want to know what's going on in your life. They want to know what you're doing. Um, tell a joke. Tell a funny story from your past about your day. Anything. Um, just talk. Don't let... Uh, don't just be silent. That's something that uh, you'll see several times throughout this video, some mistakes that I made there. I'm going to clear this out because in the morning, I'm going running. Oh, you know what I should do? I saw sheep over here. I'm going to get wool. We're going to make a bed. And we are going to sleep as soon as it's night. Come here beat you with my shovel. Give me that. Where'd that other one go? That was ridiculous. This one better give me two or three. Good. Got enough for a bed. Okay. So. You know that was genius. Never seen anybody get a bed right on the first night, did you? Okay. Whoop. No! Okay, we're gonna have to dig down then. I've also got a... Um, well, let me tell you guys why this is gonna be... Oh, there's a crash. Okay, why I left this in the game, I'll, or in the video, I'll never know. I uh, should have definitely edited it out, but here's a obvious uh, bit of unprofessionalism. Okay. What is this? What is this? Why am I dying? What the heck? This let's play might never happen. Might never happen. At this rate, I gotta change the render distance. And sorry, cause I like I like it in the uh, in the other, but this is what we're gonna have to do. And that's good. We'll just start out with two and a half hearts. That's uh, that sounds extremely fair. Get one over our heads there. Okay. We're going to make this big enough so we can sleep. And the shovel's gone already. Oh, this is just about as fast, so that was ridiculous. Um, we're going to make this just about as... Uh, big enough to do a bed now this was painful for me um, watching this digging all that dirt out with my hands where I could have just made a stone tools there's stone right on the ground could have mined that up made some stone shovels or whatever uh, as you'll see there's actually iron right under here so I could have done things a lot quicker here's part of just all not really knowing the game um, so if somebody's going to look for, search for a Minecraft Let's Play and stumble upon your stuff, you want to show them you know how to play the game. I was not doing this here. Not even close. You sit there and you watch several, maybe 30, 40 seconds of me just digging out dirt with my hands, which people will lose it over. Trust me. You use the wrong tools, people will lose it. And that's it. Maybe we'll mine a little bit. Get that workbench. Oh. This is a failure. Right off the bat. Workbench gone. Well, that's fair. I don't know if anything else uh, 
spawned extra. It, lo it looks like maybe I have a lot more dirt than I should, but uh, I don't care. They screwed me with the, uh, oh, whatever. Okay, another thing to take note of. It's, you know, I, I came into this, I knew I wasn't going to be the best at this game, but I thought, hey, my friends tell me I'm a funny guy. I'm going to try to be funny. But I go into this thing with, like, this depressed, angry attitude. Um, that's all part of just being uncomfortable. It's a totally different game when you're sitting down and you're recording and you're thinking, somebody else is going to watch this. Little did I know how many people people would eventually watch it, but even just the thought that 10 would see it, uh, I was already kind of bracing myself for negative comments, and I, I had that nasty, nasty attitude in my voice, um, so if you're going to try to be a funny guy, be funny, have some, you know, inflection in your voice, don't, don't just be, well, looks like they just screwed me, uh, that type of thing, nah, doesn't work for this episode, so, uh, keep that in mind as a whale. <clears throat> okay. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to dig this out too much and make too much of a house out of it, I don't think. Because uh, we've got bigger plans. Uh, I think I can take this out. And can I take that one out? No. I'll fix that. Here's the plans. <clears throat> I am going to be amazing at this. I haven't played it much. I've played a little bit. I've done a little building. And I've seen some stuff people have done that is insane. But, did I not... Okay. Um, I am a builder, uh, in my day job, so, although, uh, mining is the goal of the game here, we're gonna need more wood here, should've made an axe, maybe. Okay, now these last couple seconds here have been good, uh, what what should have happened because I'm sitting here and now I'm talking I'm talking about myself what I do uh, jokingly saying I'm going to be amazing at this um, maybe there, you, it's hard to tell the sarcasm in that but there there was it was supposed to be sarcastic um, if anything it's just going to piss people off and say no you're not going to be amazing and, and you still sucked them in in a way um, but we're, I mean, in this video, we're 23 minutes in, but the actual video, this is about 10, 12 minutes into it. You already lost your audience. You know, I'm telling people about my plans, what I want to do, who I am. It's too late. People already clicked off. Um, I remember when I first started talking to Good, he said he tried. He tried watching my Let's Play, but he couldn't do it. He already seen the exact same thing a hundred times. And, uh, you know, if I had started out a little more interesting, um, maybe I would have gotten his attention a little earlier. So, or anybody else for that matter. So, anyway, um, this is good. It's just too late in the video. So, we will continue on here. <clears throat> Mining will be essential, of course. Yeah, I got to mine. But... Um, I am going to build some sick stuff. And on top of that, it's all going to be to code. And if you guys don't know what that is, when you're building, there's a certain code that you have to follow. Um, your house can't be, you know, a certain distance from the street, um, a certain way you're supposed to put on a roof. Um, so, we are going to follow that as close as possible, and it is not going to be boring. It is going to be amazing. 
little did I know actually how boring it would be. Um, the whole idea of building things to code, I thought, well, you know, maybe I can provide that to the game since I, I'm uh, a contractor or a builder. So I thought that would be my niche in this in this area. Um, but, and the other promise that I made was that things are going to be amazing. Little did I know that building a house to proper real life building code in this game creates for some really boring houses so uh, as you now know uh, later on in my let's play I kind of abandon that and go just more for amazing just trying to build uh, big massive things in the game that follow nothing even close to a building code um, so um, you know I had a plan it's good that you have a plan too um, but always monitor that plan and if it doesn't seem like it's working out it's okay to ditch as long as your audience doesn't nobody really picked up on it nobody really said hey what are you doing you know you said you're gonna do this or that uh, so I felt it was okay to kind of abandon that idea um, I've also got plans for a multiplayer deal here. I've already got a server that my brother Joe, whoops, no, his name's not Joe. Uh, his name is Francis. And we've been working on that a little bit. Experimented a little with the uh, whole recording thing. And how, this is the longest day ever. How long is this day going to last? Is that sun going up or going down? That's going down. Okay. We got to get inside. One last piece of wood here. And then we're going to dig down one layer and find coal immediately. That's the goal. Watch how black this gets in here. Oh my gosh. I ain't doing any work in that. Time to make a bed. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. I'm wasting my wool for you guys so you can see it. That's how awesome I am. Wanna watch the sunset? Let's watch it. That's gorgeous. Oh, look at all these. I am not going to plant trees around my house because that creates a uh, a nice dark area for all the uh, bad guys to spawn in. I know people say, oh, I chopped down a tree, I'm going to... Where did I put that bed? Oh, I better set that before I sleep. And that should be safe. We're going to put wool right there. Okay, a couple things here. Number one, you heard me say, I know people say I chopped down a tree, I'm gonna, and then I just stopped and I got distracted. That happens so often. It still happens to me all the time. I'm talking, 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 all of a sudden, Enderman, zombie, I see something, I gotta take care of it, and then you just lose your train of thought. What I was gonna say and maybe you guys knew already, but I was going to say, uh, people say I'm going to chop down a tree, I'll be sure to replant it. Just a couple words to finish that sentence off, and didn't do it. And and that drives some people crazy. I know Schism says it drives them nuts. And I get comments all the time where people say, you need to focus better. Uh, that's something that's really difficult to do, guys, but try your best. I'm... I can uh, tell you for sure it's difficult. I'm no pro in that area. Uh, but do your best to, if you start a thought, finish it before you go on to the next thing. Um, another thing that you're seeing on the screen right now is pitch, pitch black. This is all part of starting out right at the very beginning. You're going to have a dark night like this unless you get coal right off the bat or make charcoal. Again, I didn't realize that until later. Um, but this pitch black video, no good. People hate it. 
People want you to have torches, more torches than you really even need when you're playing the game. So make sure you got it lit up bright. Uh, now you have the advantage of upping the brightness, taking it off of Moody. Um, so that can help too. So as you'll see, this is going to be a little frustrating watching the pick pitch black. Um, but just another thing to keep your eye out for. Because that makes an awesome sound. I can't even see the bed. I'm sleeping. And I'm awake. Now this, there's the wool. I see it. You guys can't. This is going to be something right here. Well, you know what? It's semi-lit in here, so let's just see if we can find some coal real quick. Iron? Iron right off the bat. Check that out. Can you guys see that? I don't know. Oh, I can't iron mine iron with this. See? I'm smart. I know I know what's going on around here. We're gonna make a little stairway here. Just so we can get back up. And we're gonna torch this uh wood pick. We're going to find coal. And it's going to be in front of me in oh, just a few seconds. Just watch. Okay, so at the end there, not bad. Kind of... For the beginning, a little cliffhanger. Cliffhangers are so good, and that's something that I tried to use uh, because I would do long recording sessions, and I only had 15 minutes available for uploading. Uh, so I would try to land the end of that episode on a cliffhanger. Now, obviously, this is not life or death cliffhanger. This is just, are we going to find coal? Anything. Any little thing can be a cliffhanger. Something to just make the person come back and see, did they did they accomplish what they were trying to accomplish? Or did they get what they were trying to get? Or did they survive? Uh, cliffhangers will draw somebody in to the next one. Um, as you saw at the end there, I had that graphic that was a little too hard to read. But that was pretty important where I said, music by me. Um that uh that's something that i should actually i just haven't found a way to implement it uh professionally but uh every video now i get a question you know who did your music who who did your music what's the song where's the music um even though i've said it thousands of times throughout this let's play uh all the time you know where's the music so this kind of got rid of those questions um I didn't see him as much earlier on. Plus, this song isn't as great as what I've got up right now. But um, anyway, uh, and at the very beginning, I had an annotation up. If, not on this video, but on my actual uh, video. There was an annotation that said, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, maybe favorite was in there. Those can be good. Uh, I think YouTube calls it a call to action um, to where you're kind of telling your audience, hey, do this. I don't do that as much anymore because people kind of know the ropes around YouTube and that's what you're supposed to do. Um, but as you'll see, I mean, if you go through my first couple videos, you know, my good buddy Nuno McCain's, um, his first comment, you know, he said, I'm really enjoying your stuff. Well, I only had two subscribers. I knew he wasn't subscribed and I said, why don't you subscribe and, and, you'll enjoy it even more. Uh, so I was really hunting for subscribers. Um, but another thing, um, when you're trying to get subs, there's a couple things, and these are a little touchy, but um, I had, you know, I got a full-time job, so I had a little extra money laying around. After I had recorded about 20 episodes, I took my best episode, uh, which is episode 13.5, I believe. And 
uh, I promoted it. And what that is, YouTube gives you the option to promote one of your videos. And basically, you're paying YouTube uh, a certain sum of money to uh, basically make you come up in certain search search results. I'm going to let you do your own research uh, on promoting videos, but I did that. Uh, and I ended up getting about 10 subscribers a day off of that and spending about $60 a month. So, you know, after a month, you're sitting around 300 subs. Um, you know, that's not bad. All of a sudden, now you're getting more comfortable. You've got people you're actually talking to. And whether we like it or not, subscribers do carry a lot of weight when you're trying to talk to somebody else and uh, network and make suggestions. So uh, do what you can to get those subs. Um, another thing that I would be remiss if I didn't mention this, uh, and I hope this doesn't get taken the wrong way, but if I didn't tell you, I, th I feel like I'm, I'm robbing you. Um, donations. Now, I'm not telling you to donate to me. If anything, I would suggest that you donate to your favorite Let's Player. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, anybody. There's so many great guys out there. Um, but what really took me off is when I donated uh, some money to Good. And what eventually happened after a couple months after donating is he recognized the donation and uh, he, you know, gave me a shout in one of his videos. Then all of a sudden I started noticing he was hitting the like button on some of my videos. And uh, from there, you know, everything else is history. Um, but now being on the receiving end of donations, I can tell you 100%, if you want to get a guy's attention, donate to him. Send him a donation. Not me. I'm not saying send me money. I'm saying send your favorite your favorite LP or some money. Um, and really, I mean, <laughs> from my friendship with Good, that's what blew my channel up. And in comparison to promoting my videos and trying to get subs that way, um, there's just no comparison. Just the, the, the donation I sent to Good um, was by far, you know, more profitable. Not saying it's I'm using them or anything like that, but I'm saying if you're trying to get subs, um, these are some good ways to go. Um, hopefully none of that gets taken the wrong way. I'm just trying to tell you my road and what works for me, um, and hopefully, you know, I can pass these things on to you guys. Um, you know, and, and as far as the donation thing goes... You know, I'm not saying take out a couple pennies or a dollar or so. You know, if you don't have the money to donate a decent chunk to where that person's going to recognize you, don't even think about it yet. You know, stick to maybe a, a small promotion on your video. Um, or, worst case scenario, just start producing videos. And uh, you'll eventually get some subs. You know, within a couple of videos, somebody will subscribe and you'll get a couple more here and there. Um, it's definitely a tough, frustrating road. Um, but if you can get through those first couple months, uh, most often, if you've got good content, it'll pay off. So, anyway, kind of a long, drawn out video, but I wanted to just address all of you guys, uh, do everything I could to help you. And, uh, Hopefully this takes care of the uh, plethora of messages in the inbox. So, thanks guys. If Really, if there are any other questions, you can shoot me some questions in the comments and I'll do my best to try to answer them. But uh, that's it for now. Good luck guys and have fun.